Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John. This report is for the 6th of February. Oh, we hit right up against the 2735 algo. Um, got right above it and then just uh, faded slightly back below it. Uh, consistent with where we're at here. I mean, we were expecting the potential of a little bit of weakness here with this uh, steel cross, but not enough to cause any significance uh, simply because we were above the... Uh, well, in this particular case, zero line for the red DLC, and nothing in particular was uh, generating rollover, particularly with the uh, uh, rising gold here. We did have the meeting point taking place just before that. It was a little worse in the NASDAQ than it was in the S&P. Um, they've already rejected again, so this uh, looks to still have a little more time left. Right here is where we can see that the cyan and... Um, I mean, Azure met with the gold right here, and that potentially could be a warning sign in there. Uh, but you'd have to see shorts rising into this. We're not seeing that at this particular point. Uh, you don't have uh, cyan moving above red or anything like that. For that matter, you don't even have uh, green fading below red. So mid-term buyers, long-term buyers, everybody's happy and very consistent with what we had expect to move to the 100% with gold. Uh, Euro giving up a little bit uh, within the softness had DOC spread a couple days ago and you know that's just a slight fade off of the move. The dip below the red line right here, we kind of expected that we're going to have to come back and retest the bottom of that. Plus we're at the top side of the range and often when we've gotten to the top side of the range, except for that brief period that we had uh, a while back where they were well outside of the move. Currency wars were in their strength. They kind of subsided a lot now that uh, things have sort of normalized trade-wise, everything else. Uh, it's not really uh, overly dramatic at this particular point. And gold, even despite the little fill-in of a little bit of the reset right there with this cyan was so far below red and red is so way over zero that it's going to take a little before that uh, would even contemplate breaking down. And this would be where, again, we expect a little bit of weakness with the steel crossing at the same time as the green with the orange rising, but you need to see red break down in that particular case. And uh, also, magenta moving back below that uh, plus 15. Could be a little bit serious what the action was. I mean, literally, we came up to, um, well, previous algos, we had a 29. We got up uh, to the daily uh, line up there, and the 35 sort of broke above it, but then it just kind of bounced back every time... Uh, Tried to stay above, wasn't quite able to do so. So that will be a significant uh, hurdle going forward. Uh, we'll see how that uh, plays out uh, well, a little further on. We can definitely see though that we have a uh, complete reset of the shakeout here. So it's gonna have to produce the actual uh, buy configurations in that in order to uh, continue to sustain itself. Not looking particularly strong at this particular point, so. We'll see if we get a little bit more fill back down to these lows in the 22 range before wanting to work its way back up. Either way, we're going to be right on top of it. Um, finally doing better. Uh, hopefully, I think that I turned the corner uh, on this uh, illness. It seems to be racking the entire country uh, up here. And so, one step at a time. As always, though, uh, I will put up uh, anything relevant on the Skype chat, and we'll talk again later. Trade well.